Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. So these are your pick a card readings for this week, Wednesday until next Tuesday. Don't forget that on Tuesdays it's Tarot Tuesday, so you get your weekly tarot scopes on Instagram and Facebook as well. So this is group number one, number two, and number three. Go ahead and pick the stack that you feel most pulled to, most called to right now. Press pause if you need a second, but initially, wherever your eye goes, that's the one that is right for you this week. So we're going to start with number one, and you've got a little stack here. So what they're saying is that, um, you know, giving to others is going to pay you back at least sixfold. It is your duty to be generous. But that being said, it is time to be discerning about who we're giving our help to, who are we bringing along on our path with us. Intuitively, you're kind of picking up on that. You're getting that sense already. And so they're saying discipline is important because you can accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. And intuitively, you should know that with this purple energy here, that third eye energy, which is also echoed here by saying, you know, like, hey, the high priestess, like, this is you. You're getting all of this information that is going to help you to be discerning as to where you're putting your energy. Is it going to be hard to stop giving it to toxic people because you have a hard time saying no? Sure, but you've got to make that discernment. Um, what they're saying is, you know, feel confident here. Whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish it, all right? Um, because you've got the spirit world backing you up on this. Feel confident in this. It's going to make you feel more safe in your day-to-day -day life. It's going to make you feel more stable, all right? If you pick number two, they're saying, oh, there's something that you've got to get off your chest, something you got to go and say to somebody. Um, and again, throat chakra energy here, okay? So loneliness, knowing that I'm never alone, that might be something that you're dealing with. And so if this has to do with a partner or somebody in your life, like, hey, why don't you co-create a reality in which you express what your needs are so that other people can meet them? Other people just don't know. Like, hey, I really need a friend right now. Do you have 20 minutes to talk on the phone? Or, hey, um, I've been feeling really bored and lonely. I'm wondering, do you have time for dinner this week? Or is there a time that would work for you? Because right here, again, with that blue throat chakra energy necessitating that you go out of your way to make what it is that you want known because people can't read your mind. Um, they're saying, you know, this is a new adventure for you, but it should pay off. It's exciting. You know, the Knight of Swords, he moves quickly. This is out with the old, in with the new. It's a new beginning, a new way of doing things that fills and warms your heart chakra that makes you really happy. If you picked group number three, they're saying self-care, super, super important this week. They're also saying it's important to have a lot of joy and fun. And they say, you know what? Let certain ways of handling things die so that new and better things can be built in their place. So for example, if you're a workaholic, they're like, hey, you know what? Really cater to yourself, to what it is that you need. Have more fun. Like, you don't need to be killing yourself at your job or in your business. Um, this is all about that heart chakra with the green here. And they're saying happiness. I am aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. If you are doing these things, you are on the right path. Is it a scary change? Yeah, maybe. But it's worth it. And so um, this blue throat chakra energy, they're saying, you know what? Maybe I need to forgive myself especially if you're doing this in the workplace, okay? Like if you're not having enough fun because it's balls to the wall or nose to the grindstone or pedal to the metal, whatever, you know? They're saying more balance is needed. And intuitively, you know this. And if you embrace this advice and you follow it through, sure, it's scary to see what might happen if you step away and you make time for yourself. But... There's a lot more happiness and joy there. Dolphins indicate positive change and it's going in a swirl, it's going in a spiral. And so everything that happens, happens in a circle, right? There's ups and downs for everything. And so they're saying, you know, be honest with yourself. Forgive yourself for maybe not giving yourself enough care historically. Um, intuitively, you know that you need to do this. And here's the thing, guys. It's saying, you know, um, when we blend these together and we get a 15, a new beginning often creates chaos with a five and disharmony, but you just figure out a way to work through it. Maybe you don't think somebody can help you with certain things, they're not going to do it right, but maybe they figure it out and it creates more balance in your life. Um, forgive yourself for not trusting others 
forgive others for fucking shit up for you because I mean that's a real reality right um, but you can take this time for yourself and you really need to and here's the thing if you don't if you keep going balls to the wall if this doesn't change your immune system your brain actually sends signals to your immune system to lower its immune function so that you get sick so that it is forced to rest Okay, so it's like, why don't you just get ahead of it so you can at least, at least be partially functional, right? Like you don't have to throw all caution to the wind, but you do need to do a little bit of self-care, have a little bit more fun, really embrace happiness and understand that when you are embracing happiness, you're doing the right thing for yourself. Love you so much and I'll see you next week.